Sagittarius. We're going to pop into your universe, Booski, okay, for the next 24 hours and beyond. Um, I already mentioned to Scorpio. I don't know why. Some of you guys may have Sagittarius in the eighth house, or you may have Scorpio in the ninth house. Um, also Leo, too. So maybe some of you guys have, uh, oh, look, and then the number eight. Eight of Pentacles. Some of you guys may have uh, Sagittarius in the fifth house or Leo in the ninth house. Okay. So I feel like your word is your power. Your word is your bond, Sagittarius. I feel like some of you guys here, your guardian spirits want you to know that you're doing a little too much to exhaust yourself, honey. You do not have to work this hard. Okay. And I feel like if anything is trying to get you to work harder as opposed to smarter, it's because they're trying to get something from you. Um, I feel like some of you guys here could be dealing with a lot of foolish energy people being maybe very immature they're not ready to grow up they ain't got no goals they ain't got no dreams they're gonna plan i feel like they're not really shooting as far as you could be shooting sagittarius so i feel like that could be causing a little discord in your universe in terms of like who real who true who valid like i feel like there's just people they're just not advanced as advanced as you and i just kind of feel like this this sunken energy in a sense where like have i already met the people that um are going to help me get far or have I not met them yet um reputation is significant here I feel like there's a lot of energies around protecting your reputation making sure that you um are protected heavily immensely some of you guys here I feel like you have a very strong war cry energy. Um, so you may, oh, we are in the energy alignments of Mercury and Saturn. So some of you guys may have had ancestors or blood ties to warriors, right? So I, I just don't want to box them into a certain group because I feel like there's silent warrior spirits that's surrounding you um, this next 24 hours and beyond to let you know that... <clears throat> Well, finds wishes, but to let you know, like they're ready to tear down some walls in order to get you to where you need to be. I don't really feel like that's in a malicious way, but everybody, everybody's version of dirty behind the scenes is different. Some of you guys here, 212, I feel like you kind of like got to take the gloves off, whatever this is. Um, finding ways to empower yourself, like train your mind. This is sad, it's mutable. So if you don't keep the shit out of your head, it's gonna keep trying to get in your head. Okay, so here with the lovers, especially Gemini energy. So I love to see Gemini energy coming out in the Sagittarius reading is letting me know that the magnetic plates between you and Gemini are at its most potent. Now, that can hurt you and or elevate you. And I say that because when you are, I can't speak for how everybody else explain astrology. And I know all these zodiac signs is different, but in terms of polarity, Gemini Sagittarius, like you fight, y'all fighting each other. You're fighting yourselves. Both of you are mutable. Um, both of you are supposed to be a balance to each other. Um, but I feel like there's certain energy bodies that come to try to disrupt that balance. It's like they don't want you to feel empowered in your decisions. So like I said, I definitely see you doing some cleansing work to get these people out of your mind. This could be covering your head. Uh, this could be even covering your face, covering your eyes. But in a, I feel like in a, you know, in like a Solar plexus could be significant here. Maybe some of you guys have wounds from someone that is, um, this kind of feels like maybe um, a weak connection with a mother or this could be grandmother. Um, someone that's just trying to like control your life or make you do things you don't want to do. And I feel like your guardian spirits is wanting you to really just be mindful of your energies and who you are giving to at this time. Okay. So I do also feel like Sagittarius, somebody is always coming to interrupt you or try to cut you off more so from what is bringing you the most opportunities in your craft. So sometimes you just got to Cut out the noise, not pay attention to the immediate result and just go and push through. Um, in terms of love, it ain't going nowhere, no matter what. Okay, I hope this helps somebody in some way, shape or form. Bye.